Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about triangle angle theorems. And the first theorem I want to talk about is the triangle sum theorem. And what that states is that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees always. Okay, so they always do that. That's always going to be the case. That is a, it's probably something that you guys have probably seen before. However, it's important that we talk about this because using this theorem that we uh, may have heard about before will help us to develop some other theorems. Let's look, look at an example first. And in this example, we're being asked to find the value of x. Now we're given this picture of a triangle with all three angle measures given. Now we've got x, x minus 6, and 82. Now what we can do is we can set up an equation knowing the fact that all these angles add up to 180 and write the following. We can do x plus x minus 6 plus 82 is equal to 180 degrees. We can then combine our like terms. All right, we can combine x and x to give us 2x. We can then combine negative 6 and 82 to give us 76. So plus 76 is equal to 180. Uh, I want to subtract 76 first from both sides. And that's going to give us that 2x is equal to 104. Divide both sides by 2 and by 2. And we end up getting that x is equal to 52, okay? And that's how we would set up and solve an equation like that. The next theorem that we have is this concept called the third angles theorem. And what the third angles theorem states is that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angles are congruent. Let's draw a picture for this one. So if we have two triangles, then what we can figure out here is that if I know that these two angles are congruent and that these two angles are congruent, then the conclusion that we can draw is that these third angles are congruent. All right, now let's put some numbers in there. So let's say that this is a 50 degree angle here and that this is also 50. And let's say that this up here is a 70 degree angle. All right, <clears throat> then what we can figure out is what, what is this third angle going to be, all right? And so if I know, um, you know, if, if this is 50 and this is 70, all right, let's just do this. Let's do 50 plus 70 plus x is equal to 180. I would set up the exact same equation over here. 50 plus 70 plus x is equal to 180, all right? And we don't, you know, let me go through and solve this real quick. Uh, but we get 50 plus 70 is 120, plus x is equal to 180, uh, minus 120 from both sides. And so you end up getting here that x is equal to 60 degrees. All right, and that's what this angle here would be, 60 degrees. So, and, and because of that, you know, I have the exact same equation here. If I solved it, I would still get 60. All right, so then this angle over here would be 60 degrees, all right? So given this picture, given that you have two pairs of angles that are congruent, you can automatically assume uh, that the third pair of angles are congruent. Now we can extend this concept to right triangles, okay? In a right triangle, what we know is that uh, one of the angles has to be 90 degrees, all right? So we know that this angle is 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna call this angle here A and this angle here B. All right, so if I were given, what I can do is I can set this up as uh, A plus B plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. All right, so what we can figure out here, based on using the triangle sum theorem, is that um, if I were to simplify this equation here and subtract 90 from both sides, all right, so if I, if I simplify this a little bit, I'll end up getting that if I take angle A plus angle B, that will give me 90 degrees. And the conclusion that we can draw is that angles A and B are complementary, all right? Meaning that they add to complement re. And, and what that means is that those two angles are gonna add to 90 degrees, all right? So let's look at an example of this real quick. 
So given a picture like this, uh, and we want to find the value of x, you can certainly set up the equation where you add up all your angles together to get 90 degrees, or to get 180 degrees. But because you know that this is a right triangle, based on what we just talked about, what we can do is automatically just set up the equation x plus 40 is equal to 90. All right, and so if I subtract 40 from both sides of this equation, then we would get that x is equal to 50 degrees, okay, and that this angle would be 50. All right, and we just, if you wanted to just verify that this is correct, then what you could do is take 90 plus 40 plus 50, does that give you 180? And it should, all right, 90, uh, let's add 40 and 50 together, that gives us 90, so 90 plus 90 does that give you 180 degrees? And that, in fact, it does. All right, so that's indeed our value of x. The next thing I want to talk about is this concept of the exterior angles theorem. Now, I'm going to draw a triangle real quick, and it's not going to be perfect, but we have this triangle right here, okay? And every angle that's on the inside of our uh, triangle are what we call interior angles. Now, I'm going to number these uh, from 1, uh, 2, and then 3, okay? So these are interior angles, all right? Interior meaning that they're on the inside of your triangle. Now, w this theorem is called the exterior angles theorem. So let's create an exterior angle here, all right? If I were to, to extend out one of my sides of this triangle, then what we create here is another angle. This angle here is called, and, and I'm going to call it angle four, all right? This is an exterior angle, okay? Uh, and so we create an exterior angle by simply, um, <clears throat> by simply extending out one of the sides of those triangles, okay? Now here's what we know, all right? What we know is that if I take angle one plus angle two plus angle three, and add those together, then we're going to get a total uh, value. If we add all those angles up, we'll get 180 degrees. Now, the other th equation that I can set up here is uh, adding angles 1 and 4, okay? And angles 1 and 4 uh, form a linear pair, therefore they're supplementary. So I can come in here and I can say angle 1 plus angle 4, if I add that add those two together, we get 180 degrees. So the question is, is like, why are we doing this? All right, well, why are you setting all this up? All right, and what I'm trying to show you is to lead you to the exterior angles theorem. And what that states, uh, if you look at these equations, uh, one thing that, that, that we have to kind of look at is that you're taking angle one, all right, so let me circle this. We're taking angle one, and you're adding this group of angles two and three to arrive at the answer of 180 degrees, okay? Now I'm doing the same thing down here, all right? I'm actually taking angle one, adding another angle, angle four, and I'm getting 180 degrees. So the conclusion that we can draw here is that if we were to take the sum of angles two and three, if we had angles two and three together, then that's going to be equivalent to our exterior angle, angle four, all right? And that's the uh, exterior angles theorem, is that if you have an exterior angle, it's equal to the sum of these two. So one thing I like to do is I like to come in here and write that if I take two plus three, it gives me angle four. And that's the idea. All right, let's look at a real quick practice problem. All right, so given a picture like this, uh, what I can state here is that I have an exterior angle here with these two uh, interior angles. Okay, we also call these remote interior angles, but th the exterior angles theorem works in this case. If I take x and add it to angle 50, all right, that angle 50, I'm going to get 120 degrees. All right, so I can set up the equation x plus 50 is equal to 120 degrees. And if I subtract 50 degrees uh, from <clears throat> both sides, I get that x is equal to 70 degrees. So that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.